Creatures of the night rejoice. The dead man has returned. The aura of the Undertaker is one that always intimidates. The following contest is an Iron Man match. Making his way to the ring from Death Valley. Weighing in at 299 pounds, the Undertaker. The Undertaker has been considered the best pure striker in the history of WWE. Yeah, but tonight the Undertaker will face off with one of the most celebrated combat athletes walking the face of the earth. Well, if there is such thing as an 11th commandment, it would be that you never outrun the Reaper. Unfortunately, Byron, there is an 11th commandment. Thou shalt not intentionally provoke the beast. And the Undertaker has already broken that commandment. You know, Undertaker is a time-honored warrior of the ring. No matter what you do, I'm not sure there's anything that prepares you for the Undertaker. So many superstars have stood across the ring from the dead man, paralyzed with fear. Abandon all hope. The dead man has risen. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! Emotionless, heartless, and hell-bent on absolute destruction. That, my friends, is the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. I've been calling Brock Lesnar's matches since he debuted here at WWE. And I have never been as frightened as I am when Brock Lesnar enters an arena. Brock Lesnar doesn't respect anyone in WWE or walking the planet Earth. Nor should he have to. You're looking at the Beast Incarnate. Byron, think of the great Iron Man matches throughout history in WWE from the first one between Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels to Triple H and The Rock. 
all the way up to Sasha Banks and Bailey. These classic matches are deeply personal and serve as a bare bones test to decide which superstar is the best. The first fall in a match like this is essential. You want to get that right away while not expending too much energy off the bat because you have to survive the full time limit. Well, some competitors work on high intensity interval training and sustained cardiovascular power so they can execute offense no matter what point the match is in. Oof. Solid punch. Lesnar cuts him off. What punch. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Guys, where does pacing come into play for this matchup? Well, if a competitor can dictate the pace of the match, they can control things enough to get a fall, and possibly another. But pacing is mission critical. Oftentimes, your opponent's thinking the same thing you are. Go for the quick fall and play defense. Now he's been put on the defensive. Can he do it here? And easily kicks out of the count. This isn't even close to over. Lesnar with a well-timed shot. Close fist connects. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Oh, trampling the opposition. Finds a counter for the dead man. Take down. Lesnar with a waist lock. We're about to take a trip, gentlemen. This is where Brock Lesnar is at home. Suplex City. Oh my gosh, the lights are out. They're back on. Look behind you. Lesnar getting out of the ring the hard way. Whoa. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, right here. Two. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire Three. right now. Lesnar quick to count. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Six. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Powerless position to be in right now. to be seconds away. Two. Two.
Lesnar, this Leviathan, stalking the feet on. Countered it just in time. Counter after counter. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Sidewalk slam. Almost drove him through the ring. Trouble could be down a fall if he can't hang on. Yeah, I don't see him getting that. Hell's Gate, Hell's Gate, but shoulders are down and they're out. Oh, Brock put a stop to that. Oh, Lesnar from behind. Brock Lesnar perhaps setting up for a trifecta of Germans here. And Corey, you know what this means? An all expenses paid trip. German after German by He thinks he has it. And he got one there. Brace for impact. Here it comes. The beast incarnate with a look at that. Bang! Somehow took down the Undertaker. He scores a ball. Switches it back around. There are no words for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. He knew it was coming from Taker. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Tag with a punch. 
been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving in the... Saving us from having to sit through that. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh, a bad spot to be in for Undertaker. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. The Reapers at the gates of hell inviting Brock in. <laughs> what power. Rest in peace. That spells trouble for Lesnar. For the win. There's two. Oh, he was almost finished. The scary thing is, this is ordinary for the Beast and Target. It's going to take a lot more to keep Lesnar down for the count. The Undertaker is now realizing that his opponent refuses to rest in peace. Oh, Brock waylays him. Oh, Lesnar from behind. Brock Lesnar perhaps setting up for a trifecta of Germans here. And Corey, you know what this means? And all Expenses paid trip. Super City. He's going for the pin. This could be it. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Thought he had it. You've got to be kidding me. The Beast ready to victimize another one. Michael Cole takes shelter. This one has to be over. Two count. Late in the match, he scores a fall. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. What a match. The Reapers at the gates of hell inviting Brock in. Taker has him up. Here we go. Good night. The Undertaker just ended this. Two. He gets a ball. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh. Enough already. Lesnar wards him off. Punch to the body. Oh! Stun gun! He's in a bad way, guys. This has just been an absolute massacre. Right now, Brock needs to find the forearm that has made him a dominant force. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm! We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Oh, what a right hook. And The Undertaker just got rocked there. I think Brock is throwing a plan to end this conflict soon. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He picks up the score. Set right into the corner. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Huge boot. Down with the leg drop. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Wrist lock applied. Oh, man, look at this power. This could do it. He gets a ball, man. Lesnar moved. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Lands face first. That's it, and there's a winner in this Iron Man match for the ages.
here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar obliterated the gates of hell and conquered the dead man once more. The beast reigns supreme, and once again, the WWE Universe is in utter shock at the decimation inflicted upon the dead man.